right let's get the ball rolling again let's get back on the training as of tomorrow marathon training starts with that in mind i want to talk to you about my race schedule for 2019 planned quite a lot so far but there's still some gaps there's still things that i will be adding in the next month or so but for now i think i've got quite a lot to focus on so the first day of race is going to be manchester marathon which is in april it's the start of april and ideally i want to try and run sub 245 which would get me a qualifying time for berlin a good for age qualifying time that is i'm not elite <laughs> and then uh beyond that in the summer i want to run a good 5k and 10k so the Sunderland 5k is a fast course that's in july and then in october there's a hexam 10k which is quite a nice course it's a little bit up and down but i ran my first sub 35 10k there um in 2017 so i think i'll be going back there in, in october to try and run a new pb and then beyond that i've got a trail series through the summer starts in april starts at the back end of april with a 10k in durham and there's a race every month through the summer there's six races in total and ideally the goal for that is to try and get on the podium at all the races thank you and um also get an overall podium might try and get a few wins in there if i can i won my first race at the the pension trail half last year and i was only a minute off the course record so if i could run a course record there in 2019 that would be great and then beyond that i'll be adding in park runs so i'll just do park runs probably leading up to the 5k's and 10k's so it's just a nice way to get used to the intensity the trail series will be mainly b races it's gonna be tough after manchester for the first race at the end of april but i'm just gonna go and race it and not worry about time like i say ideally try and get on the podium and then i'll do the same with the rest of them there's prizes up for grabs but they're quite tough courses so usually it's the it's the strong runners that win rather than necessarily the fastest so yeah looking forward to that and in the summer i might throw in a 50 miler we'll see how things go with manchester i'm feeling strong i build a good aerobic base i might do the lakeland 50 but i haven't decided yet thankfully i qualify for elite entry for that one which obviously the standards obviously aren't elite but that's what they call it so i might dip in there at the last minute we'll see so to recap my race calendar for 2019 it'll be the manchester marathon in april then it'll be the sunland 5k in july and i'll probably do a few park runs in around sort of june and july just to hopefully try and get some speed back and then we'll move on to half marathon training for september and october with a 10k thrown in so we'll have the Vela York Half Marathon in September, which is the same day as the Great North Run. I think it's it's mid-September. And then we'll have the Hexham 10K, which is, I think, the end of October, with the Manchester Half Marathon at the start of October. So I'm hoping that between July and October, I can really sort of hammer some speed in and, and go for it. Hopefully run some PBs, um, a repeat of 2017 would be nice where I run a PB across every distance and I think that was due to some training that I'd done in the summer, training for a 50 miler so yeah the plan is to get back to sort of high mileage and focus on an aerobic development. Back to marathon training tomorrow for the first time in two years so I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>